here today in this why I own it, uh, I'm going to talk about a uh, very memorable movie from my childhood, uh, and that is Desperado uh, from Robert Rodriguez. So stay tuned. So, as I had mentioned in a couple of my other videos uh, in this series and th that I have on my channel, I talked about how my family was a lot more open with me watching like violent content and like strong language in movies. Their big concern was like the sexuality, sexual content, and nudity and stuff like that. So, I got to watch a lot of movies that had a lot of violence and stuff in it. But whatever, it was the 90s. I thought I grew up all right. And uh, so anyways, one of those big movies that I remember vividly from the mid-90s is Desperado <laughs> with Antonio Banderas. And uh, I, I love this movie. This movie's great. And I love just so much about it. And this was the first movie that really like introduced me to Robert Rodriguez, who became a pretty popular director to me later on in life with various movies like From Dust Till Dawn, Planet Terror from like Grindhouse, even Predators that he made back in like 2010 or whatever it was. It wasn't terrible. It was all right. But yeah, so like Robert Rodriguez had some movies later on following this, or at least that I had seen following this, that I really enjoyed. I would probably go out to say on a limb, Desperado might be Robert Rodriguez's best film, in my opinion. El Mariachi is really good for what it is. It's a very low budget movie and very, uh, how would I put this? Very like stylized with uh, Texas culture and uh, Hispanic culture and stuff, which obviously as you can tell I'm not Hispanic or from Texas, but that's a very low budget movie and it's, you know, a really good movie for what it is. Desperado, since it was a bigger budget movie, you know, actually more funded in the vein of a Hollywood studio film, had, you know, some some more mainstream actors, let's say, in uh, Antonio Banderas and Selma Hayek and stuff in there. There's the over-the-top violence and all this stuff that, you know, he's kind of known for. There's comedic moments, <laughs> Cheech Marin, and there's the bartender, his one-liners, the guys in the Tarasco bar, Quentin Tarantino coming in and talking about the joke. You know, they walk over to go into the back and they open up the stall in the back to go in to the secret like room where they're doing all the under the table like dealings. And it's just a completely destroyed, soiled stall, you know, and Quentin Tarantino's just like in there, <laughs> you know, like, and just funny stuff and the over-the-top action. Cool one-liners like when all the, the band members walk over and they've got the panning shot and Antonio Banderas is like, you know, let's play. Like, cool stuff. And just all the guns and everything. So it's like got so much uh, that's kind of synonymous with Robert Rodriguez. You know, something they do in this film that they've gotten away from in modern films that only comes up rarely now but was a mainstay back then. It's a it's a gun movie like they're shooting all these guns and explosions and doing all this stuff. Big plot points and key moments in scenes in this movie are based around the fact that Antonio Banderas has to reload his guns. You never see that in movies and TV shows nowadays. You just see guys shooting guns nonstop left and right and you never see him reload or have any issues with that. But like this movie, there's key parts like in the Tarasco bar scene and everything that revolves around Antonio Banderas running out of bullets and having to reload his guns or get another gun or do whatever. I, it's something I miss out of modern movies, you know, action movies, because not a lot of movies include that stuff nowadays. But also, as I mentioned in my Spawn animated review, uh, this was the first film that introduced me to Selma Hayek <laughs> and uh, her little love scene was a uh, memorable scene for me growing up. This is one of a few out of my 700 or some odd movies I have. One of the only like 10 or 20% out of that that I actually bought brand new. I actually bought this brand new on a sale through Walmart, I believe, back five or six or seven years ago. 
uh, somewhere. I paid, I think, like $10 for this set uh, for El Mediachi and Desperado on here. When I first watched this movie, it was on an old school VHS tape, uh, which I actually like the cover art better on that VHS tape. It was a white sleeve VHS with Antonio Banderas kind of holding up the sawed off shotgun to his forehead. And I always thought that was really cool artwork, uh, which I think is a little bit better than kind of the silhouetted uh, one that's on this. The audio and video uh, quality, the transfers and stuff are really good on this. Uh, but again, much like some of my other videos I talked about, this one just holds a lot of nostalgia and sentimental stuff for me growing up, just watching these action movies and watching all this like hyper violence and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, so the whole reason I, I own this is like, this was a big uh, childhood movie of my, I love Desperado. El Mariachi's a good film too, but to me, Desperado uh, is my favorite out of that series and maybe the best movie that in my opinion, Robert Rodriguez ever did. So, anyways, that is the reason I own uh, this combo set of El Mariachi and Desperado on Blu-ray. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.